I think it would be very useful before we start typing away to look at the official documentation for the React router because I think this is just going to give us a very good idea what we need to do before we head over to the web. I'm going to start the dev server because this will going to take a little bit before it kicks into gear. I'm also going to leave this sidebar here open because we're going to have to create some folders here with some files, and then we're going to head over to React router DOM. And like I said, this would be the NPM. We're all going to be looking for the information page, the official docs. And as you can see, the way they're working. Okay, so we would first need to install, obviously, the create react app, then we are creating our application. And then we would need to install the react router DOM. We already have done these three things. So I think we're good to go. And then next we're they are saying not we are saying they are saying that you should be looking for a few things from that dependency and we should be looking for the browser router and usually what you're going to do is you're just going to set up some kind of alias for it and in most cases this is going to be a router and then we're going to have the route as well as we're going to have a link eventually we're going to switch up or we're going to set up the switch statement sorry and but that's going to be a little bit later on but these would be the basic things that you would need browser router is going to work as a parent router meaning parent container for everything that we're going to be displaying. And the name is already self explanatory, where this is going to be a router, then we're going to have each and every separate route. So let's say for the home, we're going to be having some kind of route. And for the route component, we are going to be looking here for a few things. Well, it's going to have a path. So where this route is going to go, and then what component is going to be displayed. And the general idea is very simple. So let's say we're going to be setting up our pages. So we're going to have the home page, we're going to have recipes page, uh, single recipe page, as well as the default page. So the page, if we're not hitting any of the URLs that do exist, is going to be displayed for the user. So first and foremost, we're just going to set them up like we normally would with components. However, in our case, we're just going to put them in the pages folder. Then once we have all this set up, the router component, or in general, that would be browser router, but obviously, since we use the router alias, and this is going to be serving as a parent for the rest of our application. Normally, you could put it in the index JS if you want, but we can obviously keep it in the app JS in our case. Some projects will going to actually set it up in the index JS just so it is out of the way. But for let's say rest of the or I'm sorry for this application, we're going to use it in the app. This is going to be our main component. That's going to serve as a parent component for the rest of them. And then within the router, we're going to have a few things. Well, first of all, we're going to have routes. So these would be the places where if we're going to be typing something in URL, this is the component that's going to be shown as well as not within the switch statement, which at the moment they don't show the switch statement, but all our routes are going to be sitting within a switch statement. The nav that we're going to be placing is going to be sitting outside. And that's that is very important. Because we would want our nav to be displayed on each and every page, but the switch statement with all the routes and I keep repeating switch statement, the switch component with all the routes that we're going to have is going to be sitting here separately. And that would be the main idea. And in my opinion, this is very simple where last but not least, we're going to have a link. So within the nav bar, we're going to have the link component with a two attribute or prop. We're all just going to pass the information where we would want to navigate the moment we're clicking on a link. And that would be the basic uh, understanding about the React router and how it works.